So I want to show you guys how to properly convert your VR chat fizz bones over to dynamic bones to be used in chill out VR. Now you're going to want to head over to my description. I will have a link to this tool here that you can download. Now the current version at the time of this video of me recording this is 1.01. .01. So if there's a newer version, definitely click on that one and download it. Um, and you're going to want to select fizzbones converter dot unity package right here. Now it's downloaded. You're going to want to head over to your unity project folder. Now I have it opened already. So just go ahead and open it and then you're going to want to import it. So you could either, uh, click on it and it should automatically import it if your package is open or you could just drag it into unity. Um, so just let that import. Okay, now with that imported, uh, you just want to go over on the top tab here. It'll say Dread Tools, and you're going to want to select Fizzbone Converter. Now, I will also say you do need the VRChat SDK installed in your project folder for this tool to recognize the Fizzbone. So be sure to have the old VRChat SDK installed with the Chillout VR SDK. Now, you're going to want to head over to your avatar. You can e you could manually find it here if it doesn't automatically select it, or you could just you know drag it into this little window. Now this is gonna convert all of these settings as well. You could turn it off and set custom settings if you want. You know that's all up to you. I'm gonna leave it on auto, so it'll automatically convert all my settings. Now you may have to manually adjust them after, but I'm gonna go ahead and select convert. You can see it'll duplicate the old avatar here with the fizz bones. So I'm going to hide that again. So if it ever were to break it, your old versions in the backup. Now you can see that the fizz bones are now dynamic bones. And I believe this is the floor collider to the avatar and that's all converted as well. I think this conversion went okay. Um, yours might be slightly different depending on your avatar. Now, if the hair or colliders are funny, then just, you know, manually go to your hair and, uh, which I'll show you guys really quick, uh, chest. And this is probably different for each avatar. So, uh, this is my path for my hair. So I'm just going to select, uh, let's see this one here. You can see that the dynamic bone script is now here. Now you may have to adjust some values, especially on avatars with longer hair. It may convert. Okay. Or it may you know, require additional manual adjustments, which is normal. So, uh, you might have to play with that, but you know, it's there, but that's pretty much it for the conversion. Um, if you guys have any questions, you could ask in the comments or you could join my discord server, which is also linked in the description, but I will see you guys on the next video.